I'm Marvin Justice, and I race tether cars. My tether car here, it uh, runs in the 3A class. There are several different classes. 3A is one that uh, has a very specific chassis, has a very specific uh, motor in it. This car in the, in the three class, the record is 173. Uh, this car just won the Nationals at uh, 162 here two weeks ago in Southern California. We race these every other weekend. There's actually three tracks in America, one here in uh, Southern California, one in Indiana, and one in New York. Uh, the sport really began way back in the uh, late 1930s and was really popular in the 50s and the 60s. Uh, it kind of went uh, to the sidelines with the advent of the, uh, the RC cars, which actually derived itself from the tether cars. So there is a, a very select group, it's called the AMRCA, American Miniature Race Car Association. A typical weekend is um, uh, we'll go to the track and we'll use the morning to do testing to kind of get a car dialed in for the day because of the weather conditions. These little motors are very sensitive to uh, temperature, humidity, air density, and so those corrections have to be made uh, each and every day and, and throughout the day. So of the morning we do make three runs, then of an afternoon we do a, uh, uh, our actual heats uh, runs and they, they are all computer generated uh, times. And it's uh, the average of eight laps is your overall time. So even though you may have one lap 165, it averages out over eight laps. And you must decide what eight laps you want to take by the push of a button. And that is uh, non-reversible, unfortunately. Uh, but we constantly have to listen to the cars, uh, listen to the engine, uh, how fast it comes up. Uh, these cars are, when we push them off, they are carburetor is running at wide open and so initially for the first uh, 12, 15, 20 laps they will be uh, running what we call rich. They will be uh, uh, really full of fuel. They'll be ex uh, exhausting a lot of fuel uh, for those first few laps and as the engine gets warmed up and pick up speed the engine will slowly clean itself out and come up to speed. So we constantly have to listen to the engine, uh, watch the car, uh, when I say watch the car, you can usually watch the car through up about 125, 130 mile an hour. After that, you, you pretty much lose the car. It's, uh, you can see a little puff of smoke and that's about it. So, uh, we, the, the sound, the audible sound is, is very, very important uh, to tell us exactly what the car is doing. Uh, we make changes throughout the day. Uh, tire diameters, uh, that's our only gear ratio. The gear ratio is a uh, constant and so we have to change the, uh, the, the diameter of the rear tires to determine our overall gear ratio. Uh, on, a, on any given day we can go up or down depending upon whether or not we want more RPMs or more speed. Uh, one of the things about tether cars is that regardless of what you've raced uh, automobiles in the, in, the, in the past, whether it be anywhere from go-karts all the way up to Atlantics, much of the same things that they worry about is what we worry about. We worry about in fuel management, uh, carburation, tires, the way the chassis is actually handling. So all those uh, factors come into, the, come into play. And it's um, uh, eight laps at 162 mile per hour. It takes about 6.9 seconds. So you don't have a lot of time to, to make a lot of decisions uh, on the performance of the car.